AJ Styles. We have a, an update on AJ Styles, and it's kind of a big one. Ring of Honor announced that AJ Styles has signed to wrestle Roderick Strong at their January 4th event at the Nashville Fairgrounds, right in TNA's backyard. That's uh, that's an interesting little twist there. Kind of a, a little FU, almost, to TNA. He's coming back to Nashville, but it's for another promotion. And it's going to be AJ's first match in Ring of Honor in almost eight years. And what I find most interesting about this whole thing is that it's a television taping. And this match with him and Roderick Strong is going to air on ROH TV on February 1st. Uh, as a general rule, TNA does not allow any of its talent to wrestle on indie shows where their matches are going to appear either on TV or on DVD. It's just not allowed. It's prohibited. And the promoters know this. So this is the first such booking that AJ has accepted that breaks that rule. And I, I mean, I suppose it's possible they're trying very, very hard to work the internet by allowing him to wrestle on TV, but I, I would think Ring of Honor would want some assurances that, that that is not the case. I cannot see Ring of Honor being too happy about being worked, and I don't think AJ Styles would do that to them. I'm, I'm guessing AJ is on the up and up with them and said, listen, I got nothing with Ring of Honor, with uh, TNA, and so let me come in and, and you know work a shot for you guys. Mike Johnson of PW Insider was the first to report that negotiations between Styles and TNA have collapsed. And it now looks very unlikely that he's going to be back anytime soon. That doesn't mean that he and TNA can't restart talks and in a couple of months he can't come back. It's not like a bridge has been burned that he's never, ever going to go back. But I know there were some reports that popped up, and that's why I didn't talk about them last week, that, well, AJ's already signed. It's a done deal. He's coming back. TNA wants him back. TNA was hoping that he would be back at one of their shows later in January. I think they have a show over in Glasgow because uh, they're going to be overseas on their UK tour. They had penciled him in to come back on that show, and right now it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Uh, there was no deal done. I don't know from TNA's perspective if they thought it was, but there was never any new contract signed or anything like that. They were still engaged in talks, and it makes me wonder if this is all legit and this is all on the up and up and negotiations really did break down. I mean, what the hell is going on in TNA? What is so difficult about closing the deal and just signing this guy? This should be a no-brainer. This shouldn't even be up for debate. This guy should have been locked under contract months ago. And now it looks like they're negotiating, things are going well, then talks collapse. Why Why would the talks collapse? Unless AJ Styles is making some kind of outrageous demand. And according to him, he's not. He did an interview a few weeks ago and said, I'm not making any, any outrageous demands here. In fact, I'm not even asking for more money. He just wanted the same deal. And talks break down. And it just makes you wonder how bad things must be behind the scenes for TNA that they can't even close the deal with this guy. What the hell is going on there? But hey, Dixie says they're cash flow positive. So everything must be all hunky-dory, I guess, in Dixieland. We just have to take her word for it. The evidence here would, would suggest otherwise. But like I said before, if this is all legit, it's just a huge embarrassment for TNA. After building everything around this AJ Styles storyline, to lose the guy for real, if that really is what's happening here. And, and especially, he's going to still be appearing on at least one episode of Impact after his Ring of Honor date. So when he wrestles at Ring of Honor on January 4th, I mean, it won't air on TV for another month, but he's going to wrestle for them on the 4th. He's got at least one television appearance left on Impact. I'm not going to spoil what happens, but he is going to be back on television very soon. Because those shows are already taped and in the can. And that's embarrassing. If I'm TNA, I am embarrassed by this whole situation because it never should have gotten to this point in the first place.